Information in a fire that burst through the streets in downtown Colorado Springs. A lot of you may remember this video. These flames ran underground along an entire city block back in September. All the results of an electrical fire that began in a utilities transformer. But now Colorado Springs Utilities says they believe all that was caused by a third party contractor. 11 News reporter Jared Dean is live near where this happened. And Jared, that fire closed Kiowa Street downtown for up to seven weeks. Adam, the owner of the Mediterranean Cafe and I sat down, had a conversation earlier. He told me there were some days after the fire where he had to throw out all of his food because he had no power at his restaurant. He says he hopes this utilities investigation will prevent things like this from happening again. Flames shooting up from underneath the downtown streets led to businesses temporarily shutting their doors last fall. Kiowa Street between Tejon and Nevada had to be closed down for repair work for nearly two months. It was, it was stressful when it happened going you know, with the, the, the seven weeks of road closure. Um, you know, and that no no tra traffic driving down the street, so lost a lot of the revenue um, that way. Revenue Hunter says he has gained back thanks to regulars and a couple good months of the catering side of his business. It could be a whole number of potential contractors that may have hit that line at some point. Colorado Springs Utilities is not sure which contractor hit the line, but says whoever it is likely used the drill and nicked a wire. They also say that third party contractor was not following state mandated locate protocols. They cannot narrow it down because of lapses in the database. I think that's the hardest thing for us is we can't provide that closure for the people who especially were most immediately affected by that this incident. Businesses in the area are hoping the work Colorado Springs Utilities did will be enough for the future. You know, hopefully it just pushes it to where maybe something like this doesn't happen again. Colorado Springs Utility says they're taking preventative measures to make sure this doesn't happen again. They're doing things like replacing old technology and using new technology that would help isolate some of those damaged cables. Live in Colorado Springs, Jared Dean, KKTV 11 News. Okay, Jared, thank you. Also